Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Peter Barber. I am primarily a professional opera singer, music producer, and a bass vocalist. Today we're going to be doing a full vocal breakdown of Chris Stapleton's absolutely 10 out of 10 legendary performance of the national anthem at the Super Bowl. Maybe my favorite national anthem of all time. I'm not even kidding. Um, I had a Super Bowl party at my house and everyone was in tears. It was like, so I knew I had to make a video for this. Um, it's not going to be a first time watch, but I probably will get emotional anyway. And I'm, I'm really looking forward to really digging into to what he's doing and what makes this such a special performance. So if you guys are interested in learning more about that, definitely stick around. Um, I'll have a link below if you want to go watch it straight through and then come back. I will be pausing a lot to talk about vocal technique and all these artistic choices that he made to approach uh, to approach uh, this this piece. So guys, please do like the video. Please subscribe to the channel. Please uh, leave a comment for the algorithm. It could be as simple as saying, Hi, Peter, or Chris Stapleton rules, or uh, the national anthem's awesome. Whatever you want to say is good for the algorithm. And uh, my goal here with this channel really is primarily to educate, to, to, to bring value to your listening experience, to, to have you guys appreciate and enjoy the music more and appreciate these singers more. That's my whole goal here. If, if you feel like I'm doing that, if you feel like I am adding to your, to your musical experience, please do consider joining my Patreon for as little as $1 a month. The link is in the description below. Without further ado, guys, let's get into it. Let's get emotional here. I can't wait to listen to this again. I only heard it during the during the Super Bowl, so I have not listened to it again since. And uh, I'm worried how many tears might come out. We'll try, I'll try to hold it together, so let's do this thing. To honor America with the performance of the National Anthem, eight-time Grammy Award winner, Chris Stapleton. And you see by the dawn's early light. God, I'm already, I'm already tearing up. That first, so the first, oh, see, that's the normal, just three pitches. He adds, he adds a little bit of riffing in there on the way down. And like oh see goes from like three notes into like six but it's totally not like him showing off being like look i can riff because we know he can riff we've all heard tennessee whiskey uh riffing is the, that movement of the notes you hear like instead of just oh oh uh, instead of just oh see you hear oh see that that movement you hear in the pitches uh, the voice moving around that's that's called riffing or, or runs or an opera it's called coloratura whatever you want to call it um chris stapleton is doing it to just further express his connection to this piece Ted. And he does such a great job of slightly changing rhythms to make it his own. He's not singing it, you know, super strict with tempo. He's really, it's this duet between him and his guitar happening here. And he's, he's changing the, the kind of traditional rhythms around. He's changing a little bit of the traditional melodies around like he did in that very first phrase. Um, so that's what's going on musically. And, and vocally, of course, Chris Stapleton has this you know, very signature rasp to his sound from top to bottom and this kind of breathiness to it and this and this grit to it. Um, and it's seen, you know, all the way from his low range when it's a much more intimate style of singing up to the, these amazing high, you know, full chest voice belts he does um, that you hear throughout and you hear just, just a hint of here in this first phrase. And he maintains that gritty rock style vocalism, you know, really throughout his range and it really comes out much more cleanly. You hear it very, you hear it, captured kind of perfectly in his upper belting range and you see right here by the dawn's early light. and something he does too which is so amazing and i know i'm pausing a lot in this first phrase but it'll give you things to think about going forward he's so good at 
having a ton of dynamic range within the phrases. So you'll notice how on certain words, he almost completely comes off the voice and almost stops singing. Um, and it adds this, this kind of ebb and flow, not only to the whole piece, but to each, each word and each, each smaller phrase, which just, it creates so, it keeps everything fresh and interesting throughout the whole, the whole uh, performance. Can you see by the dawn? Like, dawns, dawns. He like hits the word dawns strongly and then almost completely pulls off the voice by the end of that note. It's just perfect. I know perfect's not a word to be used, especially not in music, but that's perfect. Perfect perfection. Between the 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 way he's playing the guitar, the kind of mellowed sound he has on the guitar that is chiming in real like I said earlier, as a duet with the voice. So you hear the voice come through and then there's like a little riff, a little response from the guitar. Uh, and it just works perfectly together. So there's another little tasteful riff, not, you know, not done traditionally in the song that Chris Stapleton throws in there. There's another example on twilight, twilight. So he hits that he hits that note strongly, and then almost completely pulls off by the end of it. And takes a breath after twilight's last gleaming, which is interesting as well. Twilight's last gleaming. Whose broad stripes and bright stars through the pale spot. That's such a signature thing. I just, I just, I just, I think it's so. Uh, he just gets it, man. He just gets it. Hitting that note and then pulling off, it just shows. It shows like both a commitment and a vulnerability at the same time when he really hits a note strongly and then like pulls completely off the voice, allows that guitar to come in. And bright stars through the pale spot. Oh my <laughs> that, that riff. Oh. Restreaming. So it rips all the way down and back up. But it doesn't it doesn't seem like overkill at all. It just seems like it it just it just adds. It only adds to his performance. Not in not in a showy way. Just like this is what the music needs. This is just what the music needs right now. Oh, perfect. And rock is Everyone's crying, I'm crying. It's so good. Oh my God. 
Hold up. We're listening to this all again. <laughs> These big, huge, manly NFL players. Everyone's just weeping. And rock is Up to a, a high flat, A flat four. Excuse me. You're interrupting me having a moment here. Up to a high, high B flat there. So throughout the whole thing, he's adding his own little tasteful riffs. He's answering everything he does vocally with a little guitar motif. And he's showing vulnerability. He's showing this huge dynamic range between really soft, intimate, almost not even singing, to these huge, gritty rock belts. Um, it's like we're getting everything in this tiny little two-minute glimpse of, of this i mean this this is i mean if you guys aren't hip to chris stapleton this is now your chance to go listen to all his music because i think he's one of the, the greatest musical artists alive both as a writer and as and as a singer Never heard anyone end an anthem like that. Mm. Something else he does, which you'll see throughout this piece, is he barely opens his mouth. Even when singing the really high stuff, he keeps a very, like, kind of dead face neutral position, which is actually really great for singing and really good for reducing tension in the whole vocal apparatus from all the, the all the inter, inner neck muscles to the jaw, to the tongue, especially the tongue plays the probably the biggest role in singing and, and vowel shape and speech itself. And he keeps this very neutral kind of, uh, unanimated face, which is really good for singing. And the thing about Chris Stapleton is you don't have to see his face to hear the emotion he's putting into it. That's one thing that's so great about him. So you listen to his records and it's all right there. You like, even if his face is like this the whole time, which it's not, I'm over, I'm exaggerating. But even if his face was completely dead the whole time, all the emotion and the communication still comes through, which is at the end of the day, what matters. Um, I'm just gonna listen to this ending one more time because it's just it's just stunning, 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 stunning. And the free and the whole the Something that's also um just worth pointing out, I mentioned that the tongue being speech is you can you can create all the speech and vowels with a with a pretty closed mouth position because the tongue's the most important. Like if I sing e -A -O, e -A -O, the mouth stays almost the exact same. The tongue is what's creating those vowels. So that's why you can speak and be heard perfectly clearly even when you're barely moving or barely opening your mouth at all, which is kind of what he's exemplifying here with this singing, is because the tongue is doing so much of the legwork in speech. 
Um, just an interesting thing to point out. I'm going to leave it there. Truly, this is my favorite national anthem of all time. It was Whitney Houston for a long time, and I love Whitney, and Whitney's an absolute all-time superstar, one of the best voices ever. Chris Stapleton has just taken the top spot. This, for me, I've, I've never felt so emotionally touched by a national anthem as I have when Chris Stapleton did this. I mean, our, the whole Super Bowl party was crying. These NFL players are crying. I bet everyone in the stands is crying. It's just like music that really touches your soul with it. Now I'm getting emotional again. Just absolutely, Chris, like, you're the man. I love you. Guys, if you if you enjoyed this, if um, if you learned some things, if, if I enhanced your listening experience, please definitely subscribe. And then please do consider joining my Patreon to support me as a creator and, and help me keep doing this work and help me keep bringing value and enjoyment and appreciation to singers like this and artists like this that deserve every ounce of of understanding and appreciation for for how much they give to the world with their talents. So please do consider joining my Patreon. And uh, without further ado, I'm going to hop off and go find a Kleenex. (laughs) I'll see you guys next time. Bye.